hoping I'm gonna be able to get through to Jenny today. <laughs> oh my God, you creep. Because Angelina's bachelorette is literally like tomorrow. So this is the last shot to see if she will come to New Orleans with us. What's going on, girl? Trying to get everything together for Angelina's bachelorette. Have you talked to her about it? I just want everybody to be freaking happy and peaceful. Thank you. Ooh, pretty. That's all I want. It just blows my mind because you did so much for the wedding. She hasn't contacted you at all? No. I think she just has an issue with like relationships in general because her maid of honor, like no longer her maid of honor because she's got into a fight with her. Wait, what? Yeah. The maid of honor that we were with. Cheers to Angeliners. I'm driving. <laughs> Why? What could be so damaging? They got into a fight. Well, like, you know as well as I do, you get in fights, you right. really work. But though. I feel like with her, but I, I think the problem is she doesn't know how to resolve issues. She just, she fights with her friends. How was she at our bridal shower? She brought up the bachelorette. She was like, do you think that Jenny's gonna come? And I was like, honestly, I don't know. As you know, it's coming up like this weekend. I think she really would actually want you to be at the bachelorette. I think she wants you in the wedding. I think she just doesn't know how to express it. So I'm thinking the bachelorette is this weekend. Maybe don't even tell her you're coming and come. And With maybe who? me and you will go together. Are Nicole sure? will bring her. Yeah, and then maybe you help me decorate and then kind of surprise her that you're there and just be like, Oh my God, know. I just caught anxiety. I think she wants you there. I think both of you are too... My pride. Pride driven oh, to, to say it. It would show that your heart's in the right place and you are open to mending the relationship with her. I don't know how Dina did it, but she convinced me and we are going to head to New Orleans. Nicole's gonna die when she knows you're coming. Don't tell her. Don't Wanna tell surprise her. her. All right, yeah, let's not tell Nicole and let's not tell Angelina. Jenny and Angelina, they just haven't really expressed anything to each other besides maybe a little through text message and text message can get so warped. So I just feel like the best thing would be to surprise Angelina with Jenny. Face to face, people. No text messages. Let's go old school. Oh, I'm so happy you're coming. This coffee date was a success. Yeah. Angelina was having her bachelor party in New Orleans. All the girls are going. I know. I don't know what's going to happen now. I know. Speaking of, are we having a boys weekend in Vegas? We should do that. We need MVP. We need, we need <laughs> what Mike out here. Well, the girls are having this Angelina bachelor party that we weren't even invited to. Girls only. We're really gonna go to bed at eight o'clock. Bunch of moms down here. <laughs> yeah. Let's have our own guys' weekend. Yo, what's up, my dude? What up, my dude? I'm just sitting here with the V and the P. We're missing the M for the MVP. Oh damn! What y'all up to? So you know how the girls are doing this big bachelorette party in New Orleans and stuff for Angelina's wedding? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Well, we needed to have a guys weekend out here in Las Vegas, like some Thotchella 2.0 stuff like last time. I feel like I'm in the Matrix right now, dodging all the thotties. Oh, oh, Big Daddy sits. We know you decorate Thotchella pretty well. Mm-hmm. I do, I do. The wifey trusts me 1,000%. All right, yes, cool. Sir. I'm with it. MVP is back, baby. Hola, you look so pretty. Today's my bridal shower. I'm going to the beauty suite to get my hair done. So what are you going to do? Oh, you did the extensions, I see. I it's basically the wedding before the wedding. So how many people are going to be there tonight? Like 45, just like my close friends and family, you know? Like the people that I care the most about. And if people don't, somebody doesn't show up, then that's on them. I'm gonna have a peaceful day, fun, 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 and that is it. No drama. I don't wanna have to turn Barzilla on people's asses. All her friends with it. Troll, troll, got a thing. Troll, troll, got a click. Troll, troll, so these boys do it. Troll, troll. Hello. Hey, how are you? My name's Alana. Hi. Today I'm going to Angelina's bridal shower. Hi, I'm Dina. Nice to meet you. But the problem is, I'm looking at the time, I'm like, oh, it's a little late. Where is Angelina? Come on, we're late. I didn't believe for your own bridal shower. Hi, babe. We're 30 minutes late, already for the bridal shower, and Chris is like, come on, we gotta hurry up. And I'm like, all right, relax. Here I am. 
Ooh. Do you like it? Love it. We're late. <laughs> We're very late, actually. Oh my god, I'm oh stepping on my dress. <laughs> Hurry up. I knew I was gonna be this late. I knew it. Which way do I go? Do I get on the highway? Yeah. Where do I go? Get off here? Um, Come on, Chris. We're almost there. Five to seven minutes. All right. We're oh. here. You gotta open the back trunk. I am! I am! All right. Come on. Goodbye. I can't believe it. My bridal shower, it's happening right now. We're here. Hi, everyone. I'm ready to go. I just have positive vibes. It's gorgeous. I feel like a million bucks. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for I love this. I look sick. My whole dress, I love it. It's my mom and my grandma. I love it. Thank you so I love you. much. Thank you so much. Well, cheers, cheers to you. Thanks for coming. Of course. Zena, we just have like a bond now, and I feel like our relationship is growing and growing and growing. So for her to be at my bridal shower means a lot to me. You're the only one that came for me, Dave. Jenny, on the other hand, I knew she was not going to show up. Not surprised. And you know what? I don't give a Well, you know Nicole had that thing. Well, yeah. And then Jenny's in Indy. She wouldn't have came anyway. What about New Orleans? I need to talk to her. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want drama. I really don't. So don't allow it to consume you. And now, my freaking maid of honor, we got into a blowout. Who? Janine. Uh, this is my best friend, guys. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. So my sister is my maid of honor now. My friendship with Janine is over. I feel bad, but damn. It's just so unfortunate. I've been friends with her since I'm two. I'm gonna try not to let it like be, because you know what? At the end of the day, it can only control me. It's sad, it's unfortunate, but sometimes they say, with a big life milestone, you always wind up losing a friend. Just, it's my day, it's fine. Yeah, it's your day. As Cheers long as you're here, Dee, that's all that Cheers matters. Cheers to Angelina and your freaking bridal shower. Thank you. Everywhere this girl goes, there's drama. It follows her. Chris, where are you going? I'm gonna get out of here. Where are you going? I'm going to strip club. <laughs> I you up right now. I'm just hoping and praying that when the wedding does come, everybody shows up, everyone leaves the drama at home, including Angelina, because she has a very hard time letting go of drama, and she could be the one to ruin her own special day. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Let me have my day. Be, be, back it up. Whoa. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but today me and Vinny are going to lunch. I really want some advice from him. Aww. How are you? Don't touch me. That was so awkward. Okay, I go into Chris's Instagram. You went to his Instagram? Yes. <laughs> what? It You're gets psycho. even crazier. Somebody write, writes to Chris and says, bro, why did you leave? There's, I got 40 other girls coming. Mm -hmm. Why did you go? And I write back, I write, what do you mean? I don't even know what you're talking about, pretending I'm Chris. He's like, bro, what are you talking about? You were at the strip club. So okay. lo and behold, he went to a strip club behind my back. Okay, I, so at that point you said? So I texted him. I said, Chris, I know you went to a strip club. He goes, you're full of <laughs> you're a psycho. He lied to okay. me. Angelina, let me remind you that you came to a Chippendale show and you showed a stripper your vagina. Chris could have left you for that. So that's not something to like get your panties that you don't wear up at a bunch. I'm here to help her as much as I can, but at the same time, this is like too much for me right now. That's what guys do. I took my ring off and put it in my clutch. I'm like, I'm done. It's Angelina. Like, is crazy even at lunch eating a salad. You are like a walking ball of drama. I don't know if this is right, but... Nicole, I'm here! I'm ready to Hi. It's like a mess. I'm trying to, like, pack for New Orleans. Let's see what you brought. A whole bunch of stuff. Oh, these are cute. Yeah. So, like, cute stuff. Classy. Oh, this is cute. I think it's, like, a whole bunch of stuff to decorate. Oh, yeah, for the room. For the room. We're going to be doing a ghost tour. <gasps> Scary. I need to be drunk yes. for that, because well, I, I feel spirits all see. the time. I went to New Orleans for my bachelorette. And I had so much fun. So I feel like I can take lead of this trip and just show everybody the ropes. Is it just us three? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I know after the episode, Jenny was hurt, and I would be too. I had no idea it was as bad as it was. Oh, what actually happened? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't look great. No. Like, she literally just got over her divorce, and like, getting into a nice headspace, and then she has to go through this. Things have gotten so bad for Jenny. 
with everything that has gone on. I feel like if anyone needed a vacation, it's Jenny. I don't know if she's coming. She's really upset. You know, so I did talk to Angelina at the bridal shower. And I think they need a talk. And I think me and you just need to stay far away. I'm not saying a word yeah. anymore. There's more. What? Jenny, the Jenny in 24 drama. Is Jenny coming to my freaking wedding? Is she going to be my bridesmaid or is she not? I don't know what's going on with that. I have no idea. Now all of a sudden she hates me? Like, come on, dude. Like, is this all Angelina's fault again? I don't think there was any malicious intention on either of their side. I honestly think it's like a misunderstanding. It's at a bad timing because your wedding is around the corner. I don't know what's going to happen at your wedding. I really don't. I don't know where you guys are going to be at at that time. I don't know. It's like three weeks away, not even. My bachelorette party, she's not going to show up. Maybe she's not. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, am I going to get over it? I don't know. All right, let's go get some food. Hi, Michael. A little hoodie on. A little loud? Come on, bro. Are you wearing heels? Yeah. Try to cover up the guns a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Only one way to cover up the guns, wear a sleeveless vest. Oh my god, I'm starving. All right, what's good here? I might get the flaming name. I haven't had one of these in like two years. It's a celebration. Yes. Yeah, I'm super excited for dinner tonight because this is the first time Mike is out on the town after getting out of prison and it's with us. I'm truly honored. What we're gonna do. Children. Oh it's from both of us, but it's really from me. From this situation. But it's just to say thank you to each of you for being there for me Aww. when Mike was away. Uh, because you all were in your own Thanks, unique way. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh I love it. Gigi. Wait, I was going to put this. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I'm putting this in my kitchen. You. Mike and Lauren's got us the cutest gift of picture of all of us at their wedding and I love it. I'm going to cherish this forever and I can't wait to put it in my house. When Mike went away, he told me you guys, I could rely on you and like lean on you like family. If you guys can check in on her every now and then with a text or if you guys are in the area, maybe go to lunch or... I really didn't know if I could do that until it actually happened. I was wondering if you wanted to fly out with me because I know you've never been to Vegas. Yeah, for sure. Treat thyself, like Ooh. your husband says. <laughs> we all had reached out individually and separately to be there for me in different ways, and I appreciate that. Over it. Just... I can't imagine how you feel. We love you, Lauren. Love you, Ben. We love you. We're all here for you. You might get set. Go. And I wanted to give you guys this photo as a reflection of, like, our first family photo, like, all together. Yeah. Lawrence, <laughs> when you said yes, you wasn't saying yes to just him. You said yes to all, you married all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I will always be eternally grateful for my squad. And uh, this right here is just an appreciation gift that uh, thank you so much for looking out for my wifey and being a support system while I was away. To Lawrence. Oh, whoa. Damn. Holy crap. We're going to get a... Yeah. She smells she strong. She's straight. Smell it. Yeah. It's gross. I don't know why we like this, but it's gross. But we like it. Perfect drink for you, Angelina. Would you like me to throw it in your lap if you keep it up? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Vinny, confess your love to me. Oh. Yeah. She's the one that got away. Angelina is supposed to be getting married in, like, tomorrow. Vinny, give me your balls. Oh, my God. I guess we'll see. It's a wait and see. Give me your balls. <laughs> Did you sign the prenup? Oh. No, but if, if my 
if you want me to sign one, I'm not signing one, bitch. Wait. What? <laughs> this is the typical fight flirting of Staten Island. And I'm like, yeah, girl, you definitely need this prenup. <laughs> Does anyone object to this wedding? Out of the five days that I've been home, we've had we've had sex I think three days out of the four, and, and there was one day of a. I hate you. You should get locked home because you haven't done it in so long. I need to like break it in. <laughs> I mean, then you get locked up when you do it. Yeah. Isn't she abstained from that act type of activity? No, I do it, but it, it's like it's it's hard. It's hard to. It won't uh, be hard. I feel like I have a smaller. <laughs> you have a smaller uh, palette. Palette. Oh, I don't see uh, uh, Vladimir Storsimus. Yes, there we go. I was gonna say that. I have a like smaller neckline. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Bro, what is in that oh martini? God. That's my cue. Check, please. Uh, I'm getting my jammies on. Going to bed, Chooch? Ugh. Let's go to bed. I love you. You're the keto with Guido, I know. So I really, really was hoping that we can get CJ and Angelo to meet Mike this trip, but I feel like we ran out of days. Well, honestly, we have one day left. Maybe tomorrow during breakfast. And we can surprise him. You want to surprise him? Good idea. We should sneak out tonight, and then we come back for breakfast. Yeah. We basically gave birth to our babies when Mike was in prison. Well, let's put the baby meatballs so in the free stitch onesie. Oh my God, he'd die. He, he'll die. Or oh, you can't say anything though. I won't, I promise. Dina, pretend we're sleeping in our beds. Yeah. Like put pillows under, like we're okay. escaping jail. Yeah, all right. I will cover for both of you. I feel like this is Mission Impossible, and honestly, I always wanted to be a secret agent. So faking my body like it's in the bed, but it's not, and putting Pedialyte by me because Mike knows I'm always hungover. Ooh, mine looks like me. Good job, girl. Yeah, that looks real. This is like we're back in high school, sneaking out of the house. Come on, we have to tiptoe. I think we're gonna pull this off. We're like spies. Shh, take your shoes off. Good night. You a mouse? <laughs> we're a secret agent, moms. <laughs> We're ninjas. Where are you going? <laughs> Me and Dina are freaking amazing. We got out of the house. Mike didn't see us or hear us. We're gonna kill this mission. So work some, work some, baby. Watching how you shaking, about to take it back to basics. Same old two step, I'm wild, hunters crazy. All the wing tips, vodka and cranberry. I want to live somewhere where it's always warm so I can just always drink ice cold. I just feel like just so your bones could survive because they're so brittle. All right, babe. To the have fun. See you later. Zach shot me off. And I'm super, I don't know, a little emotional. Hello. Because it's our last day in the house together. What's up, Mike? What's up, Morris? Morris. Hiding the guns today, too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely you should. Know what I mean? Yeah. I need a spray tan, but yeah. Rome is not built in the day, so. Morning. What are you doing? Why does it look like they're in their beds? They went to go and get the kids so Mike can be surprised. <gasps> he hasn't met the mini balls. They're like mini meatballs. I know, so cute. Honey, would you like your breakfast? Yes, please. How do they put the surprise on you? I don't know. Girls, I don't know. Come on, it's breakfast! Angelina, we need you. Vinny needs you. He's not coming up right now. Hold on, Nicole's pooping. Nicole's pooping. Yeah. Where are you? We're like, I'm like five minutes out. All right, hurry up because he's he's starting to like you know say breakfast is ready and we have to hurry up. Uh, Please hurry. All right. All right. All right. They take an extra long. Extra long. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. We are so excited for Mike to meet the new addition. Because while he was away, two new little humans were born, and he hasn't met them yet. The meeples. The meeples. Hi. 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 Hi.
everyone's really wanting to see the babies yeah. and the roomies. So, yeah. the babies are here. You guys ready to do this? Pound it out. Pound down. You guys ready? Are you ready? Free, free stitch. stitch. Free stitch. Free stitch. Nicole, we're leaving. Oh, don't scare her. All right, we're up. Hey. Good morning. by Nicole's to catch up on all the f drama that's transpired since the episode aired. My life's falling apart. How are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Polizzi Lavelle house. <sighs> what goes on? You know, nice to watch the episode. It broke my heart. I feel like yeah. your world got turned upside down. I was literally sitting in my living room blindsided. There wasn't even an inkling of knowing that that's how it happened. Jaywell had no idea what went down because she was basically passed out nearby. But also, we don't know what Zach told Jenny mm -hmm. that had happened. Because this just. Oh, yeah. He probably said it was all. She just watched the episode, okay? Right. So for five months that it didn't air, he's probably singing her a different story. The way everybody described it was so different than I saw. Like, I, I watched it and I was like, whoa. You and me both. <laughs> As I'm watching this episode unfold, I'm looking at how inebriated and intoxicated I am. Then I'm looking at my boyfriend, who's not helping me whatsoever, and actually making the whole situation worse by touching Angelina inappropriately. I deserved better than that that night, and it's something that ever since watching, I can't get over. When I was watching it, I, I was like, all right, why isn't he bringing her to the hotel room? Believe you and me, like, he got his. After seeing the show, yeah. the elevator was a little weird to me. I agree. you need to do to piss me off was the elevator. I feel bad. Listen, she just coming from a divorce. She obviously loves this guy. He just moved in. He's met the kid. So she probably feels she feels betrayed. So stupid. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm you feel mortified. more embarrassed too. I'm so embarrassed. It's very embarrassing and it sucks. At this moment right now, like I'm not speaking to Zach. After watching that episode, I had to ask Zach to leave. Like, he had to go home. He put a huge wedge in between me and my friends. Like, it caused a war. The worst part is Queen Pleasant. Yeah. Like, I got in a screaming match. Over something that I should never have gotten a screaming match over. It was squashed after Point Pleasant until you saw what really would happen. After the episode aired, I decided to make a post on Instagram. I didn't know how to process it and deal with it, and that caused, like, a really bad snowball. And with me and Angelina. So, Angelina's bachelorette. We keep talking about it, but like, I took the initiative and I booked it, so. <laughs> I'm coming on your bed. All right, where are we doing this? We're going to New Orleans. Cool. I've like never been. Know. Oh my God, you're gonna love it. Angelina's wedding is right around the corner. That means Angelina's bachelorette is literally like tomorrow. I'm down for it. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect, perfect bachelorette. You had yours there. I loved it there. What did you do? We did like ghost tours. There's like voodoo stuff. There's like, like there's a lot so of bars. Stuff. There's bars like you can bar drink hopping. in the street. So we're gonna get wasted. Well, yeah. Angelina's bachelor is gonna be a mess. I brought some stuff, so I figure we can like kind of surprise her. Today? Yeah. Wear the hats. We have to be sneaky. <laughs> Let's make it look like cheap Walmart. I'm stuck. Straight to New Orleans. Bam. We're putting up like all the Mardi Gras colors, and we're doing streamers, we're doing boas, we're doing it all. Wow, guys. Way better than my divorce one. I'm kidding. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I feel like Angelina is going to love this. We're like the best friends ever. She's going to have an amazing time. Girl, we're going to go and we're going to have fun for like two days. Killed it. She's going to be so surprised, I feel. This is my moment.
Yeah, what a successful day. Very good day. Mom? Damn, those guns is looking big, son. Oh, thank you, sir. Gotta watch out, son. I'm on probations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll show you my toe. It's up. Huh? Why? I was playing basketball, and some 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 guy that's like six four, like two fifty, stepped on my toe. Oh. And that's when that's when this happens. Look like a scarecrow. What are you guys doing? Hey! You guys are being weird. What are you, what are you doing? Mm. So, we have a surprise for you. We have you. a surprise for you. What? I think like we should blindfold Angelina. Oh, God. God. Kind of like get her anxious, like what the f are you guys doing to me? Oh. Stand up. Come on. Surprise, you bitch. Yeah, Your tits look huge. <laughs> you ready? We're gonna twirl you. you. One, two, two three, three, four. I'm gonna throw up. Five, <laughs> six. <laughs> Make it even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, OCD. Come on. Okay. I'm very nervous. Wait, um, I feel like our decorations look amazing. I'm really excited to surprise Angelina's, so I want this to be a dramatic reveal for her. Girl, you're gonna love this. One, two, three! Go! This is so cute. Like, I'm so taken back right now. Show your pretty! Yes, babe! Bachelorette party! Yay! What are they doing? Just girls. We just a girl. This is we only we only go on vacations together. No, yeah, exactly. well not this one. Not this one. Girls only. Girls only. Like this is called a bachelorette. It's all girls. It's a vagina party, and we're gonna celebrate with penis straws. And you're not invited. I'm sorry. No boys allowed. How are you gonna have a party without the stripper? We got a stripper and a DJ. Exactly. And we got an ex-con. <laughs> <laughs> that's like having a dinner without the food. It's like playing basketball without a basketball. That's, that's like BDS without the fun fetties. Damn. What are they gonna do? Go to bed at 8 o'clock, bunch of moms down here? <laughs> yeah. The Wine most... night, mom juice, turn up. You can't do a party without the most valuable players. Mm -hmm. Facts. Well, that was great. <laughs> I'm excited. Same. Yeah. Very excited. Mm hmm I have to go home to the kids with my divorce. One chapter is closed, but custody and divorce, two different things. Zach's picking me up. Is he? Yeah. Who the Is that Zach? Are you gonna make out with him? Oh. I haven't seen 24 since Vegas. Me and Jenny, our beef is squash at this point, but this is still gonna be very awkward. Hey! How are you? I was literally just talking about you. Um, and he's here and he's all snazzy. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Angelina, shut up. Don't say one word. Just be cool, be calm, be collective. Everything will be fine. Oh no, 24 is here? No. Oh. oh, 24. Oh, you never met 24? Never met him. Oh, uh, He's a big boy. And if he frowns at you, he's not upset. It's just his face. Oh, for real? <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Must have just got a daycare. <laughs> All I heard about 24 was that he was a wrestler. He's a big guy, and they have great sex. Should I bring them down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You stay there, babe. Yeah, I'm staying. Hi, Angelina. Hello. What's up? How are you? Awkward. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Wow. Zach's here. 
Whoa. Oh. He came to pick me up because I got to go get the kids, but he wanted to meet you. OK, cool. I got heartburn now. I'm so nervous. Like, indigestion. Mike still hasn't met Zach. I really need to get these two people together because it's very important that Mike likes him. I'm very nervous, Mike. I'll be honest. You're like my best friend. You better not do it. I know, I know, I know. Now I'm getting introverted and weird and like, all right, this is the last one. Why am I scared? Me. Oh, my. Hey. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you, How are you? Why oh, you make Mike look so small? Hey, guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I heard a lot about you. I'm 24. I'm in my suit. And, uh, Who is that? This is Jenny. She's blacked out. He's oh. dancing with her. He's like choking her out. He's like, <laughs> the things I'm going to do to you later. Yeah, like good things. Good things. Yeah. Good things. Yeah. yeah. So where are you guys going? Is it date night? No. He just dresses like this. Oh. So Zach walks in and he's wearing a full on shoot suit. Like, suit. <laughs> nice. I, I, all right. I dress all dress right. Dress. You see the smile on Jenny's face? Yeah. I see the smile on both Like, you of can see faces. her teeth. She never smiles with her teeth. As soon as 24 got to Vegas, it was weird. But listen, if 24 makes Jenny happy, then we are his fans. Jenny looks so giddy. I am. She is giddy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, both of them do. It is very interesting that Jenny has a 24-year-old boyfriend, but I have never seen Jenny glow and look so happy as she does right now. Oh my God, it's Mrs. Situation. Hey. Hey. Jim Tan Lawrence. Oh, hey. How, How are you? Are you? Family. Good to see you. Meeting 24 for the first time. He seems nice, but there are so many things that I need to know. I actually have a few questions. Oh, Oh, dear Jesus. When did you and Jenny first meet? We met uh, at her wedding. wedding. Jenny's wet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Hubbard. Max Bench. Jenny's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Things couldn't be more awkward right now. I heard the sex is far. 